Well, all right, Bobby Wagner, uh, here's a, a, a shocker, really. Bobby Wagner has signed with the Washington Commanders, and I'm not exactly sure why. This feels like one of those moves that, like, uh, in 10 years we'll say, hey, remember when uh, Bobby Wagner played for Washington? Because, uh, you know, I think he's still a good player. I think he can still play. I'm just not, I mean, you know, Washington does certainly need help on defense, so maybe this is, uh, I don't know, could this be a sign of them trying to at least be, like, somewhat competitive? I suppose so. Um, now, I guess I'm saying it's a surprise, but in hindsight, maybe it shouldn't be because Dan Quinn is the head coach of the Commanders, and obviously, you know, uh, what I believe they won a Super Bowl together back in the day. So yeah, I mean, it kind of kind of does in some ways make some sense to uh, you know to reunite. And I'm assuming what's happening here. I'm assuming the logic here is Dan Quinn doesn't want to go in and say, let's just suck, get a good draft pick. What Dan Quinn wants is to build a roster that can at least be all right, right off the bat, right? It doesn't have to be great. Uh, it doesn't have to be a, a spectacular uh, roster, but you want to get out of that losing culture mindset. And Dan Quinn, you know, say what you want about him being kind of a, you know, only being successful because of Kyle Shanahan in, in Atlanta and all that stuff. Like, he did help the Falcons kind of, you know, reach higher heights. And part of how you do that is to at least build a competent roster. So I'm assuming that's the logic. They are obviously almost certainly going to get Drake May with the number two overall pick. So the offensive side of the ball actually seems all right to me. But getting some defensive players to at least kind of make that okay can also help evaluate, you know, evaluate the quarterback, right? It can help out a young quarterback because they don't feel like they have to score every single possession. So that's probably the logic behind it. The I think the question, though, is... Why wasn't there, more, why, why couldn't someone else make the move? Why couldn't like, you know, uh, I don't know, why, Seattle, why didn't Seattle re-sign him? Or like a team that's maybe trying to be more competitive right away, but maybe Washington's that team. I'm a little surprised uh, Wagner said yes, but again, going to a scheme, you know, he knows he can play and eight and a half million dollars, that'll often get it done. So maybe it's just as simple as that. But yeah, uh, interesting, interesting signing. Wanted to make a video breaking it down. What do you think of Bobby Wagner, future Hall of Famer, now a member of the Washington Commanders? Always love hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.